Kaine. Emil. What's going on? I haven't seen you two come into Seafront in, well, ever, I guess. Sorry for the surprise. Kaine said she sensed something strange in the area. Strange how? Like a shade? Maybe. I'm not sure. There's some kind of sound or something coming from up ahead. What an incredibly specific piece of information the Hussey has graced us with. <laughs> what is it, Kaine? Nothing. Let's get moving. Okay. And another cutscene. I can't skip this. Ah. We're gonna need to figure out some way to get inside that thing. This ship is in a state of want and decay. Surely we can find a hole or some such if we put our minds to it. These planks seem to be covering a rather large hole. We can probably get in if we move them out of the way. I'm worried about whatever it is Kaine is sensing. We should make sure we're really prepared before going inside. So, were you able to write that letter? You know, now that I've taught you how. Not yet, huh? Well, there's certainly no reason to rush. <laughs> you know, it makes me happy that you've taken such a shine to me. First time we met, I didn't have the foggiest idea what was going on in that head of yours. <laughs> so, hey, I've been thinking. <laughs> How about you come live with me? It might be kind of nice to have a daughter around. Not into it, huh? Guess I should have figured. I'm sad to hear it, but it's your choice, of course. Huh? The floor's wet. Wait, is this blood? Oh dear, are you... Baby, that is one hell of a smell. We got something real nasty nearby, eh, Sunshine? <sighs> Come on, don't tell me you ain't picked up on it yet. You of all people gotta know what this smell means. This ship is in poor condition indeed. Do try not to thrash about and bring its timbers down around us, hussy. Whatever. Sure you're all right, Kaine? You really shouldn't push yourself. Hey, I've got an idea. How about you and me search outside and get some nice fresh air in the process? Sure. Let's do that. Sounds good. Take care of Kaine for us, Emil. Emil is on the case. Come on, Kaine. Let's get the lead out. This place is pretty gloomy. I'm having a hard time imagining any townsfolk hanging around here. Well, as we've no other leads, let the search begin. 
So I'm wondering. Oh. Look there on the floor. And there's still some oil in it. Nice. Proceed. Let us fumble about and see if we cannot find one. I'm wondering if the wait, did you see that girl just now? Quit interrupting me, game! I did indeed. How on earth did she manage to get behind us? Perhaps she is the runaway we heard tell of at the post office. Best track her down and take her back to town with us. What I was trying to say is, it was the girl literally luring people in here to kill them, or were people just wandering in and she took mm -hmm. them, takes them out? There's no one here. Weird. It's like we just saw a ghost. Oh, what foolishness. I am certain this room merely contains a secret passageway or the like. with this ship anyway there may be clues somewhere that tell of how it ran aground <laughs> I like the I, I like the this like book of arcane knowledge and magic and it's and he's scared of ghosts it looks really dark up ahead then perhaps we ought to make use of that lantern we just found hmm? I see you shiny. What's this? An apple. It's a bit bruised, but it's not super old or anything. I wager it was dropped by that fruit-loving ferryman with the red bag. Perhaps he absconded to this ship to wait out the storm after yet another spirited debate with his wife. Oh, goodness, what a troublesome couple. Let's keep moving. As that sounds just now. Sounds like it came from the floor above us. This barrel's been knocked over, and there's flour everywhere. Surely it was toppled by the girl we saw at the entrance. Wait. Cast your eyes to the floor, lad. The missing child left white tracks in her passing. Should we follow them, I expect we will find our way to her. It's in here first. Man, this book's got some serious heft to it. I wonder what it's for. It would seem to be this ship's logbook. Let us avail ourselves of a gander. Records of the routes it traveled, the weather it encountered, and the places it made port, all in a painstaking level of detail. I would expect no less for a vessel of this size. Until the day the records suddenly cease. What the hell happened on this ship? Okay. Up here? See that light on the other side of the shelves? A shame we cannot investigate further with these blasted things in our way. I would like a word with the interior designer who thought to put them here. Hang on, I think I can move these. Ah. Hey, there's a notebook on this desk. Oh, wow, this thing is crammed full of information. A record of the cargo they carried, no doubt. Let me see. <sighs> by my pages, this ship was used by slavers. How simply atrocious. Wait, you're telling me they sold people? And made out quite handsomely from the transactions, it would seem. 
How could they do something like that? I do not know, nor do I care to ponder it. Let it suffice to say there are monsters who trade coin for misery in all corners of this accursed world. Lord. There's a breeze coming through these shelves. That white vase is rather conspicuous. Try giving it a nudge. Delightful. These chests are pretty huge. And what do they contain? Treasure, perhaps? I wish. Looks like a bunch of iron tools. Those are no mere tools, lad. They are instruments of torture. I shudder to think what evil transpired in this room. <laughs> Passageway key. All right. There don't seem to be any shades around, at least. Fortunate for us. Now let no more time be wasted in our search for the townsfolk. White tracks end here. Wait, I hear something. All right, can I go? Would it not be wise to explore the rooms on the floor above us? You know what? Yeah, you're right. I, I remember how this goes. Whatever that sound was, it stopped. I swear it sounded like a girl. This is a voice pipe. A contraption by which one's voice can travel to a faraway location. Which means the girl is in whatever room this pipe connects to. Hold a moment. I spy a chart of the ship's layout on the wall. <sighs> yes. This pipe connects to a cabin in the ship's stern. Onward and, uh, inward, I guess. Yes, thank you, very conveniently placed, Matt. This little lantern has brought us quite far, hasn't it? Yeah, and the light it gives off makes me feel, I don't know, safe somehow. Well, aren't we the romantic? I don't remember this room. It looks like somebody's journal. Here, let me see. Hmm. It says the ship was attacked by some kind of monster. Seems like the person who wrote this holed up in here while the monster roamed around the ship, killing everyone. Do you think that actually happened? I cannot say. Though the term monster might well be referring to a shade. Ooh, chilling. Kitchen, is it? Herb! Heavens, look at the size of this saucepan. This must have been where they prepared meals for the crew. There's a note stuck to the counter. Extra rice, whole peppers. Looks like the crew had some say over how they ate. <laughs> To be picky about one's food while at sea is a luxury indeed. Thinking back on it, the cuisine we were served during our visit to the bickering couple's home was quite particular in its choice of ingredients, was it not? Tell me about it. I feel like I've sampled every single recipe in the Apple Fanatics cookbook. Once we track down the ferryman, we should invite them to a meal at our place. A fine idea, lad. Ugh. Now I'm really sad. Oh, damn. What the hell is this smell? 
Perhaps it is wafting from further inside? Another apple. Just how many apples does that quibbling husband keep on his person while he's out and about? Let's keep searching. Uh-oh. Uh, Vice? I think the floor is... Yeah, fuck. Speak to me, lad. Are you hurt? <laughs> uh, been better, but I'll live. I hurt my foot. Ouchie. I can't see a thing down here. And what is that terrible stench? I suspect we may have fallen into the ship's hold. The lantern got away from me during the fall. We'd better look for it. It's not right here? Hmm? Is that? Vice, that's it! We found the lantern. About time. Might I suggest you cease the celebratory fanfare and light the blasted thing already? Oh, the horror. The horror. Oh, dear. Look at the bodies. They are all people from town. And, I fear, the missing ferryman. Oh, no. This can't be real. Why? Why did he... Why did everyone have to... Damn it! Pull yourself together, lad. Remember the presence Kaine sensed? The culprit who murdered these poor folk likely awaits us further within. I won't let them get away with this. <laughs> That's enough, lad. Avert your eyes. So that's why. Damn. Hey there, you two. Hey. I didn't know you guys came back inside. Did we ever? Found a nice hole in the wall to slide through. But then we heard a bunch of noise coming from that super dark floor downstairs. You sure had us worried. Yeah, sorry about that. You feeling better, Kane? A little, yeah. Sorry for the trouble. Good. That's... Uh, that's good. Jeez, you seem really down in the dumps. Did something happen? <laughs> Tell me, Kaine, that presence you sensed. It's on the floor above us. I feared as much. It seems we've little choice but to press onward. Wait. Oh, that's just to talk to them. Okay. Thought there was something right there. What's this? There's a bunch of crumpled up paper here. Letters, maybe? 
They all seem to have the same words written upon them, but the penmanship is so poor I cannot make heads nor tails of it. Oh, these are her letters. <laughs> oh man, that smell is getting ripe. How you feeling there, sunshine? Oh, no, 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 get Not back up. Great. Can't you tell? Let's save before we, uh, no, let's save up here. All right. This would be the final room, yes? The culprit who murdered the townspeople may be behind this very door. Let us proceed with utmost caution. It's that girl we saw when we first entered the ship. Old lad. This is a lone child sitting inside a hulking ship littered with corpses. Something is clearly amiss. There. Oh man, this shade is nuts! I think I'm in love. What? You Dude. can feel her power hanging in the air, and she ain't even trying yet. <laughs> Things are finally heating up! Huh? Could this girl be the presence you sensed, Kaine? <gasps> oh, hey, it's you. Been a while. Wait, you're the postman. What are you doing here? Oh, I've been coming here a lot lately. I think this girl was on the ship when it drifted in. I've been keeping an eye on her until she's well enough to leave. Hey, so this is kind of awkward, but... The girl is, you know, bleeding? I brought a bunch of bandages with me, but, uh... Well, how exactly does one deal with a woman's time of the month? So, sorry, sorry. Clearly crossed a the line there. Forget I said anything. Stay the hell away from her. She isn't. There we go. something out. You just find a way to get the hell out of here. The two of them will be fine, but you and I must withdraw. The ship is collapsing. We must leave at once. Very much aware of that. Thanks. Let's go. Good talking. Let's get ah! <laughs> Get out through that hole up there. There we go. Glad you two made it out in one piece. Yeah, we're good, but that poor postman is still trapped inside. We'd better go help him out. No shade would dare pursue us into sunlight such as this. We should use the opportunity to ready ourselves. You were saying why? <laughs> Isn't 
this shape being hurt by the sun? That is not precisely the case. It most certainly Ouch. is being burned by the sunlight. However, its regenerative abilities far outpace whatever damage the light is able to inflict. This light, something is coming. Get out of the way at once! Oh, listen! It's singing! This thing actually thinks it's a person! <laughs> oh, God. Okay. <laughs> I don't know where the singing lessons came from, but I do know it's sure as hell trying to eat us. Whew. Oh dear. <sighs> Aim for the tentacles with faces on them. Stop now. Focus on the next one. Oh, I can kind of hear her voice. Are you fucking kidding me, child? There we go. Now is our chance. Attack with all that you have. Did we get it? Oh hell, that thing's huge! such a grievous wound. Ordinary attacks aren't gonna do shit against this thing. Hey, the guy from before has collapsed on the beach. That shade's got some kind of hard on for it. We should take him hostage. Shut your yap. I'm not in the business of using my blades on people. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Is this thing turning its body into spears and shooting them at us? Woo!
Okay, 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 okay. The number of spears flying our way is increasing. Yeah, I can see them. Woo! My word, if this continues. Hey, over here! This guy's important to you, isn't he? This thing immortal? How can it withstand such an onslaught? I'm... I'm really scared, guys! We will be in grave danger if it unleashes that attack. We must stop it. Oh, shit! Oh, no! What are you doing? You're gonna get yourself killed! Focus on the source of its magic. Aim for the head. <laughs> ah, come on, aim, 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 aim. There we go. We can never be together. You disgust me.
Oh, that is that is just heartbreaking. She just wanted to become human to be with him. That's sad. Thanks. You really saved our bacon. You've all done so much for me. Offering a little refuge is the least I can do. I don't have the words to express how sorry I am. We all knew townspeople were out there being eaten by a shade. But I never imagined I was taking care of it this entire time. The fault lies with that foul creature alone, postman. Not yourself. I... I hope I can believe that someday. <sighs> All right, well, we'd better get going. There's someone else we need to break this news to. Fair enough. I hope to see you out there on the old letter trail again soon. Hey, did you find my husband? Uh, yeah. The thing is... Wait, why are you hesitating? Is he alright? Please tell me he's alright. Come on, say something already. Your husband was killed by a shade. I'm sorry. We tracked him down, but it was already too late. No. It can't be true. That big idiot, always carrying his bag around, thinking about me all the time. Oh God, this can't be happening. It saddens this old tome to think we'll never hear those two at each other's throats again. If only I'd gotten to him sooner. Damn it. Do not let it burden you so, lad. You did the best you were able. Let's uh, go save real quick. Well, we better go go back to Popola real quick and then we'll end the episode. this sunshine a letter that thing wrote it for the postman ha! man that is some great a chicken scratch she probably copied the letters as best she could so what's it say i think our friend's gonna wake up soon let's go Ooh. Hey, Kane. Yeah? When you were threatening that shade on the beach the other day, how did you know it was trying to protect the postman? Just a feeling, I guess. <laughs> All right. Yeah. 
shades on the coast, the ferryman dead, you've had quite the rough trip. Coco? That poor ferryman used to tell me stories of the epic quarrels he had with his wife. He found the whole thing quite amusing. He loved her, though. He loved her with all that he was. I'm very sad to hear that he's gone. Still, you made it back safe, and I'm glad for that. Have you any new information about the key to the Shadow Lord's castle? I'm still working on the decryption, but I'm afraid progress has stalled. Loyal Cerberus might refer to a dog, but I've never seen anything that would fit the bill. It must be pretty complicated if even you can't decode it. Well, you're our last hope, so please keep trying, okay? I will. By the way, I was walking by your house earlier and I noticed you had some mail. You might want to check it out. Thanks. I'll do that. Oh, one last thing. Since the ferryman was missing work, I arranged for someone else to handle the job. I'll make sure they know to let you use the boat as before. Gotcha. All right. So I think my next plan is to Even without those we have lost, the world relentlessly continues to turn. Why is Q quit quit interrupting me? All right, my plan I think my plan is I'm going to level grind until I'm uh Oh, uh, well, let's say level 45. Because if I'm right, then the that the bosses for the uh, gauntlet are. Yeah. I can't think of the right words right now. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna end it here. Coco, wanna go for a walk? Wanna go for a walk? Yeah, I'm gonna take Coco for a walk. So, like, co like comment, subscribe if you want to. And uh, see you next time.